Hi guys. Today we are going to learn about enabling TD certificate for the always on environment. Okay. So TD is transparent data encryption. It is a method to encrypt whole database. Okay. So it is server level. We are creating master key and database level we are creating certificate okay so it is database level encryption uh, using server level master key okay uh, so what we are going to do here is i have adventure work database okay i will uh, encrypt this database and right now i have two nodes in always on environment both are in sync okay so in always on environment i want to add this database right so what i will do i will remove first this database from always on so let me remove it from availability group okay so this database is removed and if i refresh there is no database in always on okay so let me start now uh, see there is no encryption enabled as of now no database is encrypted so what i will do first i will enable server level encryption with master key okay so master key will be created using this command on node 1 so my master key is created now i will create certificate on node 0 1 after con creation of certificate i need to enable the certificate for always on uh, adventure work 2019 database okay so here i will select 2019 database adventure work and i use same certificate which i created before right so this certificate you can see here as well here this certificate is created Uh, so let me encrypt this database with uh, this certificate see it is not encrypted right now has not been backed up should be in view immediately backed up so it is telling to take a backup that's okay and to enable encryption we need to run this alter command and this database level encryption key so database level encryption key is created so that you should see in should be able to see in these certificates It is not here. Uh, but encryption key is created using okay. Uh, this okay, same as this master key. Uh, database level encryption key is created, and now we will enable this database with encryption. Okay, so it is done. Now if we see here, database is encrypted. Okay, and if we see here this database is encrypted and for this database encryption is in progress it is encrypted with certificate okay 
now after uh, encrypting this database adventure work uh, what we will do next step is we will take the backup of our uh, backup of this certificate to our drive okay so this backup is done on node 01 okay so we have now certificates available here what we will do we will copy this same certificate to node 02 okay we will copy paste here the files are copied now on node 02 what we will do uh, we will create a master key on secondary node uh, master key we already created so no need to create again we can validate here our master key security and certificate no uh, master key is different okay so certificate we will create here use master instead of d it's c c and these are path okay uh, we will create this certificate so our certificate is created we can see here this td certificate is created on secondary node okay now next step is uh, we have created td certificate on secondary node now what we need to do we need to why we created this certificate because we want to take the backup of this database and restore on uh, secondary node right so what i will do i will do we take backup pull backup and i will keep it on d drive d drive d drive okay T drive. Let me create it on T drive. Ready backup full. 16 October. B A K. Go here, or backup is here. I think D D drive we are not having backup. Okay. Can keep it here. Same backup folder we will transfer to SQL node zero two. directory and paste here okay now what we will do we will drop if we want to delete delete and restore database from device it reside on t drive backup backup okay 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 not okay it should be as not recovery okay let me drop it again restore database device add t drive backup okay okay and here option with no recovery okay we will restore it with no recovery 
okay database is restored in restoring mode what we will do now uh, we will add this database back to poag mm, contain database encryption that's okay Okay, so here it is saying to use statement. Mm. So how we will join now? Uh, it's simple statement, but let me Get that statement. this database should be for recovery okay let me try to add this database yeah this made prerequisite connect to node 2 join only take it to new script we don't want this database to be added what I want is availability alter database add database to node 1 uh, our alter database add database this okay so We will alter database add it to SQL OH. This command is done. Now on second node, what we need to do? We need to execute this command. New query. Instead of this, we will add this database. So it is now added to our AOAG. It's added green. Let me show you AOAG dashboard. AOAG dashboard is green. Uh, now our database is added successfully and encryption is also enabled. to 10 not 10 mm, 9 okay see this database is encrypted certificate mm, database is encrypted let me check on second node second node it won't able to connect because it is Okay, secondary, let's check. Secondary also, it is encrypted. And it is encrypted. everything is good. Yeah, so this is how we can enable database encryption on OAG environment. If you find this video useful, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.